Let us start to configure our audio for our project in OBS. You can increase and decrease the volume using the slider and the audio mixer pane in OBS. You can also decide to change the source of your audio by clicking on the settings icon and selecting properties. You can select your desired audio source as you so wish and then click on OK once you're satisfied. I will just check my audio settings to be sure I'm connected to the right speaker. Okay, I think I am. Okay. Let's go back now and fully configure our audio sources. I go to properties and set my audio to my default device. I click on OK. Then what I'll do next, I'll click on the settings on the right hand side and then I'll navigate to the audio page. And then I will go ahead and set all my audio sources. Desktop audio is that audio that comes from my laptop. Say I want to record a sound coming from my PC, maybe a song I'm playing or a call or a recorded call. I can also set my default microphone to whatever device that I have connected to it. So I select the one I'm comfortable with. I can even add multiple microphones to my audio sources and you can see I have two microphones actually serving as inputs to my stream in OBS now. I can decide to mute one so that I'm not getting audio from it but I can just go ahead to remove it if I don't need it anymore. But I'll leave that for now and I'll go back to settings. I'll go back to the audio tab. I'll go ahead and just disable that channel. Also I can decide to have a device for monitoring my audio and I can select that device I want to use to monitor. I apply that settings and I click on OK. Then I am ready now to set all my audio going in my project in OBS. So I can go ahead now to test out all the microphones as I so wish but I'll remove the ones I actually do not need. So what I'm doing now is that I am adding filters. Filters simply help me to be able to either it helps me to be able to uh, add some enhancements to my audio. Maybe I want to add extra volume. As you can see, as I'm increasing the gain, you can see my volume bar is going higher, and as I'm reducing it, volume bar is going lower. So if my volume is not so high, I will add the gain. I can also add noise suppression. So for example, there is noise around me, I can decide to suppress the noise or reduce the noise noise cancellation as we have it. So I'm able to also do that so that I'm able to ignore all noises that go on around me with my audio device in OBS. Also, an addition, studio mode in OBS allows me to be able to preview my stream before I send it to the live audience. So using the studio mode is perfect for scenarios where you need to verify that your sources are actually perfect before you send them to your external audiences, either your recording or your streaming. That is just an extra note for this session. And I think that's been beneficial. I will see you up in the next video. Thank you.